Happy New Year. In 2021, I earned more from investing than my day job. Fun fact, I used to work in this building behind us at Marina Bay Financial Centre. Many of us started our investing journey because we aimed the transition from working for money to money working for us. I asked in a recent poll whether we earned more from investing compared to our day job, and here are the poll results. As you can see, many of us are in different stages of our investing journey. Not all of us want or need to earn more from investing compared to our day jobs. For some of us, investing is a nice side income. Many of us also want to take our time to slowly learn more about investing and let it grow in importance over time at our own pace. And that's okay. In this video, I'll share my own journey as well as a few lessons I learned along the way. Welcome back to Investing with Darren. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos. In 2021, I made more than 200,000 US dollars from investing, with gains mostly coming from Tesla, followed by Apple. That's a more than 50% return on invested capital in a bull year, where the S&P 500 grew by more than 29%. That's currently ahead of my goal of 20% annual rate of return. This won't happen every year. We know that the market is generally positive 80% of the time, and in decline 20% of the time. This means that while we'll see growth in the long term, short-term losses from time to time are part of the investing journey. It's very hard to time the market. What we do know is that on average, bull markets last for 2.7 years, and bear markets last for 10 months. Elon himself believes that the next correction could come as soon as mid-2022. Here are three lessons I've learned so far as a new investor. First, investing isn't just about economics. While many new investors would focus on the company's financials, the regulatory environment may be a blind spot for some of us. This played out in a big way in China this year, where many industries from education, gaming to tech saw the Chinese government take action that fundamentally changed the future of companies in those industries. The ban in for-profit tuition meant that companies like Gaudu saw the stock drop from a high of $149 to a low of $2, a 98% decline in just one year. Alibaba Group went from planning the world's largest IPO with N Financial in late 2020 to a tough 2021 that saw the stock drop 50% from a high of 270 Hong Kong dollars to 120 Hong Kong dollars today. TT lost two-thirds of its value as the Chinese government required them to delist from the New York Stock Exchange. In all these cases, regulation played a far bigger role than the underlying economics of these companies, some of which had a highly profitable and fast-growing business. As an investor, the biggest personal risk is if Elon decides to bring all of his companies together under a holding company called X. This would lead to Tesla more directly funding SpaceX, which is seen by the Chinese government as a potential national security threat because of Starlink and the Starship rockets. Second, find what gives you conviction. For me, it's very clear that I gain conviction from understanding a company's products and services, and not just reading the financial statements. I want to know what long-term users think about the product, and I try to be a user myself. It's kind of like food reviews on Google Maps. Behind me is the historic Lao Passat food market. You trust reviews more from people who try the food themselves. You see this approach manifesting in this channel, where I spend a lot of time understanding Tesla's products, because Tesla makes up more than 85% of my publicly held equity. I spend a lot of time with Tesla drivers, riding in Tesla vehicles, being a part of Tesla Owners Singapore Club, interviewing Tesla employees or former employees, visiting their factories, their showrooms, and understanding the broader EV industry. Some even say that this is more of a Tesla channel rather than an investing channel, and I can't disagree. This approach means that I'll likely focus on investing in B2C companies, where a lot more information is publicly available compared to B2B companies like Palantir. My investments in genomics companies like CRISPR Therapeutics and Pacific Biosciences saw a 45% decline in 2021, a loss worth $14,000. These B2B companies make up 3% of my portfolio, and I definitely have less conviction on them compared to Tesla or Apple. I can't, at the top of my head, tell you their CEO's name, their profit margins, and their product pipeline for next year. While I could certainly do that for both Tesla and Apple. This also means that I'm a lot more comfortable investing in stocks of companies compared to crypto, which is a lot less tangible and harder for me to understand still. It doesn't mean that I won't invest in crypto, it just means that crypto won't be more than 10% of all my investments. Conviction brings peace of mind and gives us the ability to hold for the long term. Third, investing is more scalable than work. Our investments can grow exponentially because of the power of compounding, while salary growth is linear for most of us. You have true autonomy in investing, and for long-term investors, your wealth gain per hour usually exceeds that from work. Many of us seek work-life balance. I define that as the ability to do what I want when I want to. Unless you're trading, there is no 9 to 5 when it comes to investing. You decide when you research, when you buy, and when you sell. How much you put in is entirely up to you. The powerful thing about investing is that it's going to be how most of us reach financial freedom. Ironically, I believe this makes us perform better at our day jobs. We're now there because we choose to, not because we have to. 
It's like the difference in motivation between a conscription army versus a volunteer army. I aim to grow my investment value from $685,000 to $1,000,000 in 2022. This will come from a combination of dollar cost averaging to buy Tesla and Apple stock throughout the year, as well as steady gains from my existing investment. With my current investments, I can continue earning more from investing than my day job in bull markets and will build up capital to buy the dip in bear markets. Investing is a journey with both ups and downs, and I look forward to sharing both of them with you in this channel. I believe we learn more from our failures than our successes. And if we see a correction later this year, I believe there are a lot of lessons for us to learn. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos like this. Another fun fact, I used to work in this district behind us, Raffles Place. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.